All righty then, it is 1035 on the Talk of Chicago, 1690 WBON. My name is Perry Small, and you are listening to WBON Midday, Midday Madness. Now, I want to, before I go to my guests, I want to tell you something. If you've heard of Pinky Cole, she's a former television producer, and she founded Slutty Vegan just a few years ago, and now it's a huge success. It started in a shared kitchen to a food truck and now over 14 locations. She is the um, the author of Eat, um, Eat Plants, Biatch, uh, 91 Vegan Recipes That Will Blow Your m- Meat-Loving Mind. And she her current book is I Hope You Fail, 10 Hater Statements Holding You Back from Getting Everything You Want. But Pinky Cole's team is in Chicago for a restaurant takeover at Native Foods, located at 218 South Clark, not far from where we are. Uh, He is joining us, um, uh, our guest, the owner of Native Foods, uh, I hope I'm saying his name correctly, uh, Dom Dia, um, that is joining us now. Did I get your name correct, sir? Okay, I'm sorry, Dom. How, how do you pronounce your name? Yeah, that's right, Dom Deer. Okay, you, Dom. You say it right. Okay, thank yeah. you so much for joining us today. And tell us a little bit about um, Native Native Foods. I uh, started Native Foods six years ago, and that's a vegan restaurant. When I started with the company, I was the general manager, from general manager to district manager. Uh, I was running all the Chicago location. And, you know, one day they decide to go bankruptcy and the owner asked me, hey, Dom, you want to take over? I said, yep, I love it and I will take it. And uh, from there, you know, I turned this restaurant around and tried to do my best I can because I care about the people I work with. They have been in the company over 15 years. And especially with my wife who gave me the power and who's telling me every day, you can do this. I believe you. And the one who's believing me and behind me every single day and un- give you the encouragement, I-, I do not know what I have to say. And the guests who's coming here, they great. You know, they love me the food. And I cannot close this door. I open it because of them. Wow, that is awesome. Where are you from originally? I'm from Senegal, West Africa. Oh, Senegal. Yes, I love yes. Senegalese food. I've been to Senegal, and it's a be- beautiful, beautiful place. And so what does it mean for you, for Pinky's, um, Pinky's team, to come to and be there at, um, at, at, at Native Foods? I mean, I, can, I always like uh, Pinky, someone who has the knowledge, the power to make a sure a black community to be successful. Yeah. And I'm so happy and grateful she decided to come to Native Food because she see what we can do as a team and as a black community. And I cannot I do not have a word for her how thankful and grateful I am right now with all the support is giving me and my heart is full right now. Oh, that and is honestly, so sweet. I, I'm just like, I do not know what to say, honestly. Well, guess what? Pinky Cole joins us on the line. And uh, I have to say this. I hope I'm not fangirling, but I am. Uh, I've seen <laughs> several interviews with Pinky, and her story is so incredible. And we were trying to get her on when she had released Teen. 10 hater statements holding you back from getting everything you want. And the first thing, of course, because I love Ratchet Television, um, when I found out that she was a producer on Maury Povich, I was totally in love. So, ladies and gentlemen, Pinky Cole, restaurateur, survivor, mother, just all around, just one of the most interesting black women or interesting women of our time right now. Pinky Cole, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm doing very well. Hey, guys. I'm so happy to be chatting with the both of y'all. I cannot even believe that I am talking to you. Let's talk about uh, uh, Dom first. Um, Tell me how you found Dom or did Dom find you, Pinky? No, I think we found each other. (laughs) Okay. All right. You know, because the reason why I ask that is because you have been so intentional 
in your quest yeah. to, I mean, you have had tremendous success with Slutty Vegan. Uh, you have 14 locations now. I heard you, you said you, you, you never doubted that you can do this, but you had a lot of setbacks with fires and, and all of that sort of thing. But so you have been intentional to being that support yeah. system and letting black people know you can be what you see. And I'm it, the person that you're seeing. So tell us about how you and Dom got together. So it's interesting because I like to use my Instagram page um, as the yellow pages. I know we all remember the yellow pages, right? (laughs) So, and and I'm going to be totally honest because that's the only way that I can be real because I feel like this is the way that I'm able to encourage entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. We all know that the economy has taken a turn, right? So businesses that were at 100% of their game even got knocked down to 91% just by virtue, just by the way the economy is. It's nobody's fault, right? Right. So the reality of it is, is as an entrepreneur, you have to find ways to get super creative to continue to grow your brand. So I put a post up on social media saying that I was looking for some restaurants to do some pop up takeovers because I'm like, listen, the people coming to me, but I'm really going to go to the people. And Dom and I connected. We connected um, with his team. Um, They were very professional. And we literally put this thing together literally in a matter of days. And now here we are about to pop up in Chicago um, and they foods and have I'm already claiming a very successful pop-up with people uh, in the heart of Chicago and I'm just so looking forward to it and I want to publicly say thank you for allowing us and trusting us with your space um, because I know what it means to be able to like lend yourself to other people so thank you and I'm so grateful and humble that you would even allow us to be in your house today. What does a restaurant pop-up look out look like for the people that don't know? So a restaurant pop-up, well, a slutty vegan restaurant pop-up. A a slutty vegan restaurant pop-up, okay. (laughs) Yes. Um, So we have a DJ. um, We bring our merch. We bring desserts. And we bring food. So basically what we do is we don't have any drinks, right? So it's almost like a 50-50. Like, we bring the vibe. We bring the crowd. um, We uh, sell the food. And then the restaurant that's hosting us, we tell them, you sell the drinks. You sell the alcohol so that so now it's a win for everybody. And it has worked for us so very well. Um, we've already this tour leg. We've already done uh, non stops already. And we're going to stay on tour for the rest of the year. And I'm excited about that. When I tell you, let me tell you something. I am a girl from East Baltimore. I come from humble beginnings. I have been in business for almost six years. When businesses close every single day around me. It's very hard to watch it, but to see people stand in line and camp out and support me and not complain and they're not standing in line for Jordans or cell phones or anything else. They're standing in line because they love me and they love the brand that I built. I love I your take brand. take that for granted. Yep. Thank you so much. And, and it makes me emotional just thinking about it because, yes, there have been roller coasters. I done been sued. I done been through the highs and the lows, but we still standing. Uh, we're still building. We're still opening and looking so inspiring around the world. Let me ask you this, because, I, and I'm sure people have asked you, but I have never been able to find it in writing. Where does the n- name Slutty Vegan come from? <laughs> I was in my two-bedroom apartment one day, and I eyed me out of the sky. And let me tell you how God works. I had no idea that I was going to be building a hundred million dollar brand. Wow. I thought that this was just going to be a side concept that I would already had my dream job. I was a casting director, television producer. So I had the job that I didn't know that God had something bigger for me. He said, "Ah, ah, ah, you're not thinking big enough. Mm. And Slutty Vegan literally became the vessel for me to be able to connect to entrepreneurs, um, dream chasers, uh, thinkers, believers, to be able to build their pathway of generational wealth, no matter what it looked like. Who thought that my destiny was going to be tied to a vegan restaurant called Slutty Vegan, where I'm selling vegan burgers that's called One Night Stand and Sloppy Toppies. But the bigger picture here is that that is the vessel for me to be able to bring all people together. So my purpose is rooted in this brand, and the name may sound racy, but the brand ain't got nothing to do with sex. So, mm-hmm. you know, I, I'm just reshaping narratives, and I've I've been doing it for for as long as I can think of. And and so um Dom, you come from a country that is uh very religious and you know very Muslim 
and 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 you hook up with someone that has the moniker and 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 brand of slutty vegan. How does that work for you? Uh, you know what? Uh, religion. Just for me, everybody has to follow the religion. Mm-hmm. Everything comes down to, to your heart and okay. what do you believe. Right. We all come from God. And we all need to support each other. You know, I don't look at people race or people religion or anything. I'm looking at people like myself. I'm a human being like that person. You know, and that's the way I see it. When you have a great heart and willing to help everybody like Pinky, what she's doing. Yeah. I'm grateful. I'm not looking at all that because I believe what she's doing, all entrepreneurs can do the same thing, learn it from her mm. and try to go above and beyond. That is awesome. I mean, what she's, that's the she, way I see it. She's, she has a hundred million dollar brand. Um, tell me about um, the, your cuisine at, uh, at your store at Native Foods. Tell me, tell me what kind of food do you have there? We have everything here we sell here that's vegan. No meat, no dairy. Everything. We have a burger. We have also a bowl that's also gluten-free. We have sandwiches. We have everything. We have a platters. People can order like a catering of platters. We have dessert. We have drink. Anything a vegan person can eat. Jeez. We have that. I did. I never. I I had no idea. And you know, vegan today is so different than just ten years ago. Um, And and obviously, there are more people that are more you know plant conscious in their eating as well as um, what they perceive as being healthier. They feel better. All of that. Do you use a lot of your Senegalese spices? No, at all. You know what? My wife and I was talking about, we want to bring the jola fries in the restaurant. Okay. You know, I want to do that. I mean, not right now. We, we have to change all our menu in July. Okay. You know, we just debating right now. I don't bring anything from Senegal because I know I don't, you know, Senegalese people eat a lot of vegetable and all that. Right. I mean, we don't bring those yet. All right. I mean, we're on the process to get to that. Yeah, um, the last time I tried to get in touch with you, Pinky, you were on maternity leave. Tell us the good news about the new little one in your life. Well, I feel like they're all the same age. So, <laughs> you know, I had a baby in 21, I had a baby in 22, I and know. I had a baby in 23. I know, um, I know. So I, I just had a baby in December, um, and the, the, the group is complete. Destiny Ch- uh, is completely dying. <laughs> But I, I had my, um, you know, motherhood, a whole other business to run. Right. So I, I want to encourage others who are listening to this, keep going, because it is hard. Even with help, it's hard. Um, and, you know, it's it's a it's psychological uh, difference what happens, but it's so rewarding. And I'm just so happy that I can follow my dreams and still be a mom and be a wife and be a sister and be a daughter and be all those and Pinky, uh, you are the you are the the consummate person, uh, a woman. Uh, when you look at you, say you can have it all, and you do have it all. Thank you so much, Dom and and Pinky, for joining us today. And make sure, you guys, you go and ha- enjoy uh, Native Foods today, located at two eighteen South Clark. And Pinky, um, I'm going to have my producer reach out to you again because I still want to talk to you about your your both of your books. Uh, I've been trying to talk to you, but you've been uh, busy uh, building a hundred a hundred million dollar brand and having babies. So um, you said you're at the end of that. So we can, <laughs> I, I hope that we can talk. <laughs> Don't forget about me because I'm really a big fan and I really do want to talk to you. Um, you have been very inspiring uh, to me and to so many others. Thank you so much. And Dom, I just wish you the Thank best you. of luck. And I'm going to have to, I don't eat vegan, but I, I, <laughs> I'll, I'll come and, and, and come to uh, Native Foods uh, to support you. Thank you so much. What about today? So Make much. sure that you come. Yes, at 1 o'clock, yeah, <laughs> 218 South Clark, everybody. Not far from WVON. All righty, then. It's 1050 on the Talk of Chicago. I'll take your calls when we come back. Stay with us. Thank you, Dom. Thank you, Pinky.